Hey guys, welcome back to Ants Midwest. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about my Campanotus pensylvanicus colony. Um, the last video I did about them, I, I, I had it say zombie ants because they woke up seven days after taking them out of hibernation. Um, this was their old nest, but you can see that they did lose a lot of workers. And there's only one worker left in here. That's the one left yet. I'm just waiting to catch her outside of the nest so I can scoop her up and get her into their new setup, which I will show you now. So this is their new setup. It has the same sugar water tube and uh, just a water test tube. I think, yeah, in my test tubes video, I set this up with the these two tubes up. I set those up. Um, but I finally got the colony to move into here. As you can see, the majority of the workers and brood is in here, just the one worker is in the old nest. Uh, to get them to move in here, all I did was just not water their other nest, so eventually they decided they wanted to be in a place with more humidity. Alright, taking a little bit of a closer look with the macro lens, you can see the beautiful queen right there. Check out those draws on this major over here, if it would focus. There you can see the jaws a little better. They look very menacing. If you look at the gas of most of the workers, they're filled up pretty full. This is mostly sugar water and a little bit of cricket guts for protein. In the last video I did with them, I don't believe that they had... I'm, honestly, I don't know if they had any eggs in the last video I did with them, but definitely not this many. Queen has been busy laying eggs, so that's very good. There's actually quite a few there. I don't believe any have hatched into larva yet, but I would say they're not too far off. So I did a quick count, and it seems like there's a little bit over 15 workers here. So that's pretty good. Um, it's kind of sad though because they had about 30 before hibernation and lost most of them, but. That's okay, but we're going to rebuild them for sure. I think that they have really good odds of being successful. As of now, my biggest concern is how messy they've gotten their water cotton ball. As you can see, there's quite a bit of junk on it, so it may mold relatively quickly, which would be bad. Um, it's difficult to get them to move to another test tube, so hopefully that won't go too bad and will stay fresh for a while. Well, that's going to be it for the update on my Campanotus pensylvanicus colony. Uh, the three other Campanotus pensylvanicus queens I have, I will be including in founding colonies. That I'm not including that as a colony yet, because the most workers any of them has is one. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and check out some of my other videos. Bye. So I pretty much forgot to mention why I decided to downgrade them to a test tube. It's because they didn't have very many workers, and not nearly enough to fill up that nest, and I didn't want the dead workers to start molding and affect the rest of the colony, thus moving them to a smaller setup. Mm -hmm.